Good morning. It's Dana with the Arts Partnership. It is time to do this week's Tap Talk. And I'm excited because we are joined by an artist who's new to me, although I know her as a person because she's got lots and lots of connections to the Arts Partnership, which we'll talk about when I bring her on. But rather than hearing from me, let's get right to it. I'm going to bring on Alicia Hoff, who... Um, Hi, Alicia. Hi. Alicia, tell us your connections that you have to the Arts Partnership, because there are many. Yeah, right. So the biggest one would be uh, Chelsea Ewan, used to work there for the um, in the communications. Yep. And so she's my younger, younger sister. Mm -hmm. um, and she'll be moving back soon to Fargo, so I'm really excited about that. Yep. Um, and I believe my uncle, Chris Kurzman, also worked for TAP at some point. He did. He okay. did. He was our first communications person. Okay. Yeah. So it just kind of runs in the family a little bit, but I'm I not, think that's true. That is not my strong suit. <laughs> so. Well, maybe not with words, Alicia, but you are a communicator with imagery and paint oh. and all the other ways that you do art. Thank you. Yes. And that's been a journey so far. Yes. Yeah, so I'm really happy to have you on because I think, um, I, so Tanya in our office talks about you a lot because oh. she feels <laughs> like you um, you think about art both from a creative side and from a business side. And obviously, yeah. if you're an artist who intends to do more than just make for your own enjoyment or yeah. your own you know, sort of hobby self, yeah. you have to be thinking about the business. but. Let's talk a little bit about um, sort of the business of your art, and then we'll talk about your art. Okay, the business of my art. So uh, I will preface this with um, being married to a businessman is helpful. <laughs> Sister who knows about communications and marketing is also yeah. very helpful. That would um, be helpful. Yes. And so uh, honestly, um, and I, I kind of started doing this research before I left my healthcare practice. Um, but there was a lot of research um, and and I would research something like, let's say, um, how to archive your art or or even that that is a thing, you know. Um, so how do I do that best? You know, mm -hmm. uh, the big thing, how to price your art. That is a big thing. You know, you have yep. to be prepared to talk to people about how you get to a certain price point. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of different audiences. I mean, there are curators, you know, galleries, um, you know, personal clients, um, as well as, you know, how to how to do commissions. I, I knew nothing about a lot of this. So I really yeah. had to sit down with Google and just kind of go down a few rabbit holes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost like I'm kind of a data miner, like I can like really sit there for like a couple hours and just like go just surf. Um, so yeah, I learned a lot that way and just kind of through talking, um, with Matthew, my husband and, um, you know, a couple other family members and Chelsea, of course, and just kind of figuring it out as yeah. like, my big thing is I wanted to kind of be prepared enough, at least, um, not to be too perfectionistic, but just to be prepared enough that I know what I'm doing before I launch the business. And so, I was done in healthcare at the end of September. And then I just like really took the time to like slow down and figure out what do I want this business to look like? Huh? Um, who am I going to serve? How am I going to do that? Um, what is kind of my, at least my initial style or what I want to do with my art? And I'm gonna be answering that question all my life and it'll kind of change huh? a little bit. Yeah, so Absolutely. the was the branding. So well, I love that. Yeah. So it's like an A and an H and it kind of looks like an easel. So I worked with a, a designer to do that. So I stamp my um, brand icon like on all the dust jackets on my art. And so, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Let me say hi back to the Fargo Moorhead Youth Choir. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, so so let's talk about your art. Sure. Alita, because it, um, I was looking at your website this morning. Oh, thanks. Nice. Your, um, your about page is really interesting to me. Sure. So one thing we know that a lot of artists struggle with, um, because they just haven't thought about it, or because it's hard to talk about yourself as a maker sometimes, and kind of what your personal mission is, and all those things. You've got that. So you've got an artist mission. You've got um, an artist statement. 
-hmm. And then a kind of a quick little background on who you are. Um, So talk about what is your mission? What is your statement as an artist? Why do you do what you do? And let me just say, uh, there's from Alana, who is our new communications person, Alicia kicks it. So (laughs) you're clearly, you're clearly well liked at the arts partnership, Alicia. Yay. Okay. (laughs) So yes, um, again, after I was done with my healthcare practice, uh, there was a lot of um, kind of coming home to myself. So, I mean, I I have loved art all my life. I have loved creating it. I've loved experiencing it. I love to uplift other artists to support other artists. And I like to get to know them and kind of what makes them tick. But I, I had to really sit down and do that for myself before I could go on. Um, so yes, a central question that I ask myself, um, how do I want people to feel when they experience my art? Um, and so the, the few words that kind of keep coming to mind are kind of like um, uplifting, uh, kind of cheerful, um, very kind of like helping people kind of slow down and take a pause mm-hmm. Uh, look at the details, notice the details. So there's kind of, it's kind of almost an art of mindfulness as well. Mm, A word for me is earthy. I I don't really dig like bright colors, like bright color palettes are just not my thing. I I love muted colors. Um, I love being outside, just Mm -hmm. nature's colors. I know nature has bright colors too, but I'm just really drawn to muted palettes. Um, and I, I like to kind of make some space, like for um, like openness to interpretation, making space for whatever people, um, you know, emote with my art, how they connect with it. Uh-huh. I'm here to push. I'm not here to, you know, at least not right now. <laughs> but I am here to be curious and ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. So I see a piece directly behind you. Can yes. you go over to it? Yes. I don't know if I can, yes. Let me see if I can get out of the picture. It's hard to do, I know. Turn, oh, no, okay. Well, that's pretty good. So it's kind of, so this is a piece that's four by five feet. Let me see if I can kind of like. Oh, there, you know what? That's perfect, Alicia. So this is four by five feet. I I don't have it. you know, ready for sale. I have to kind of spray it down, but this, this is actually a piece. I'm glad you asked about it. It's a piece that I feel is most like me as far as style. And so, um, it had a lot of, um, kind of drips and, uh, details. There is some like, um, collage pieces in it. Yeah. Um, I can talk about that too, real quick. Um, yeah, absolutely. But so you notice kind of the earthy palette um, mm-hmm. and, and still kind of the cheery details and, and just kind of a, it, it is probably kind of like abstract expressionist. Yeah. There's one that is in uh, various stages back here. Uh, that's kind of just here. So I'll show you kind of the um, inspo. Okay. Right? You know, stormy kind of rainy sea. So this is kind of like, the drips that I'm talking about. I like to yeah. leave a lot of those because I like organic details. I like the spontaneous. Yeah. I'm just like, like really. <laughs> I know it's hard to, <laughs> you're doing great. So yeah, that one's kind of a moodier one, but it, it will end up being probably similar to this other one. So uh, while, while we're walking around. Yeah. Um, so this, this studio was um, a kind of crappy storage area. <laughs> And it was revamped. So like flooring was put in all the cabinets and countertops and there it's very bright in here. And I have my little window uh, facing the North there. So I can next to like a, a vet clinic. So I get to see them walk the dogs through the. Nice. Yeah. Um, So I do acrylic, but I also do um, kind of watercolor mixed media. So these are some of them that I have uh, on the site Mm-hmm. for sale um so i've kind of been doing more acrylic lately um so this is some of the like more acrylic pieces here okay yeah wow you have a lot of materials i do you. that's I, amazing I, like i'm prepared to 
like <laughs> same media. It is mixed media around here. <laughs> so that's great. Yeah. So Alicia, am I correct that you are a new artworks artist with us? Yes, brand new. Mm -hmm. Um, is your art up yet any place? It is. So it's at the um the choice operations building. So it's okay. Kind of from the main branch. Um, okay. Hot wind that maybe the main branch is doing some remodeling. I don't know if that started. Oh, I, think, I think that is true. Yes. Yeah. So um, they had been requested. I might know who that was, um, but they'd been requested. And that was an interesting. Um, I loved that I was asked to do this because what came out of it was so awesome. So like they needed a dozen works in the size of about you know, 18 by 24 to 16 by 20. I did not have those. <laughs> so um, it was a chance to make a bunch of new works. Yeah, I did. And so that um, series, that collection um, came together as the Mindful Moments um, series. So oh, I that's what that is. I looked through yeah. that today on your site. Yes. Yeah. So that's what's up right now um, with like three other ones that I also yep. have. Um, but yeah, so that's so up right uh, Alicia, where can people get to you? Give us your website, give us yeah. your physical address if you've got yeah. open times. Yes. So I haven't set studio hours. I, I should think about that and do that. Um, side note, I will be on the studio crawl this year too. Yay. That's exciting. So hold out till October yeah. if you can, but you can also get to her sooner. Yes. Yeah, so that's um, aliciahoffstudio.com. So you get to the main page and then I have a blog um, mm -hmm. working on that. Um, and then the shop, of course, and the collection is on like just in the drop down under the shop yep. and, and all the backstory. Um, I'd love to get some engagement on, you know, some of the posts or just any kind of feedback, ask me any questions. I'd love to answer them. My commission policy is on there too. So, and I'm on, um, uh, Instagram, Alicia Hoff studio. Okay. So also that information is all in the notes inside this um, conversation. So you can find Alicia that way. You can find her on the Arts Partnership page, and then you can find her at her own, her own places too. Well, Alicia, this is really exciting. I'm happy to reconnect with you. I feel like when we met before, I just knew you as Chelsea's sister. I didn't know you as an independent artist. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun to see you coming into your own and owning this, here's, a, here's something that um, I became really aware of listening to you talk. You never once um, apologized for being an artist or, or qualified that, oh, I'm sort of just getting started or I'm kind of trying to, no, you just said, I put my um, medical career down and I picked this up and now I'm, now I'm doing this. And that's, I think, such an important lesson, those of us who work in the arts and those of us who are from the Midwest can often say things like kind of, sort of, I hope to right. just do it. You're That's clearly right. just being it. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. So, so thanks so much for joining us. I look yeah. forward to seeing your art on uh, the artworks page and to seeing it all the other places that it goes and to getting to know you even better and um, to just continuing to stay in touch. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thanks for joining me. Everybody else, have a great day. We'll be back next week with a different artist or arts leader to talk to. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank